హాయ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఎడ్యుపీడే వరల్డ్ దిస్ ఇస్ వరుణ్ గంగా ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఇన్ అవర్ లాస్ట్ సెషన్స్ వీ హ్యావ్ లర్న్ మెనీ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ త్రూ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ ఇన్ వెదిక్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ బట్ నౌ ఇన్ దిస్ సెషన్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు లర్న్ ఎ న్యూ కాన్సెప్ట్ దట్ ఈస్ ఫైనింగ్ స్క్వేర్ రూట్స్ ఆఫ్ పర్ఫెక్ట్ స్క్వేర్స్ సో ఫ్రెండ్స్ టు ఫైన్ ద స్క్వేర్ రూట్స్ ఆఫ్ పర్ఫెక్ట్ స్క్వేర్స్ అట్ ఫస్ట్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు లర్న్ టూ థింగ్స్ అండ్ కీప్ ఇన్ అవర్ మైండ్ సో ద ఫస్ట్ థింగ్ వాట్ హ్యావ్ టు లర్న్ హియర్ ఈస్ ద ఫస్ట్ టెన్ స్క్వేర్స్ దట్ ఈస్ వన్ స్క్వేర్ వన్ టూ స్క్వేర్ ఫోర్ 3 square 9 4 square 16 5 square 25 6 square 36 7 square 49 8 square 64 9 square 81 and 10 square equals to 100 and the next thing that what we have to learn here is the first 10 square roots square root of 1 is equals to 1 square root of 4 2 square root of 9 3 square root of 16 4 square root of 25 5 square root of 36 6 square root of 49 7 square root of 64 8 square root of 81 9 and square root of 100 is equals to 10 and also we have to keep in our mind the last digit of the number in the square root for example if the number in the square root has its last digit as 1 then the last digit in the answer may be 1 or 9 you know why because we can see or observe that square root of 1 is equals to 1 and square root of 81 equals to 9 here in the square root we are having one as its last digit whereas here in square root of 81 we are having one as last digits and therefore the answer may could have one or nine as its last digit as its last digit suppose if we have four as last digit in the square root then the last digit in the answer may be 2 or 8 why because if you observe in the square root here we are having square root of 4 equals to 2 and square root of 64 equals to 8 here the last digit is 4 and here in square root of 64 we are having last digit as 4 so therefore in the answer the last digit what we are going to get may be 2 or 8 and whereas coming to the number 5 that is if we are having the last digit in the square root as 5 then the last digit in the answer will be only 5 why because we are having only square root of 25 equals to 5 and the last digit here we are having is 5 so therefore the answer what we are going to get as the last digit is also 5 and when the last digit in the square root is 6 then the last digit in the answer may be 4 or 6 why because square root of 16 is equals to 4 and square root of 36 equals to 6 here if you observe the last digit is 6 and here also the last digit is 6 so whenever we get the last digit as 6 in the square root we could get in the answer the last digit as either 4 or 6 if the last digit in the square root is 9 then the last digit in the answer may be 3 or 7 why because here square root of 9 equals to 3 and square root of 49 equals to 7 so if you observe the last digit in the square root what we are having is 9 and here also 9 and the answer is 3 and here 7 so therefore whenever we get last digit as 9 in the square root the answer could have its last digit as either 3 or 7 and the finally one more thing what we have to keep in our mind here is whenever we get the last digit in the square root as 2 or 3 or 7 or 8 then it is not a perfect square root that is it doesn't have any square root and one more thing that we have to notice here and we have to keep in our mind is if we get the last digit in the square root as 2 or 3 or 7 or 8 then we won't get its answer we get the answer in decimal points if we observe about the last digit in the square root except for 5 remaining all has either of two digits as its answer to find which fits best we should do the following steps if we have observed about the last digit in square root except for 5 remaining all has either of two digits as its answer to find which fits best in the answer we should do the following steps step number one at first we have to split the given number into two parts in such a way that its last two digits should come under one part and the rest as the other part step number two by seeing the first part we can say that which two digits are going to come in the answer but to make confirmation which fits best we should take the second part and we have to make a check in which between two squares the number lies now coming to step number four 
If it is closer to the bigger square, then we have to take the bigger digit in the first part. And if it is closer to the smaller square, then we have to take the smaller number in the answer of two digits in the first part. And the answer and after making confirmation of the last digits of the answer from the two digits in the first part and the answer that we are going to write in the second part is always taken as the smaller square number that we have checked and finally by combining or clubbing both the second and the first part we get the final answer for the square root that we have find so friends this is the processors or steps that we have to follow while finding the square root of perfect square. I think this can be understood more clearly through example. So why should we wait? Let's have a look of an example. So the first example that I am going to take here is find the square root of 225. So friends in order to find the square root of 225 we do have some parts of processors or steps that we have to follow. So the first step that we have to follow here is we have to split the number into two parts as shown below. So friends here I have written the number 225 and I have split this number in such a way that the first two digits should come in one part and the remaining digits should come in the other part. So this is the first part and this is the second part. So friends to find the square root of 225 at first we have to split the number into two parts as shown below. So therefore I am writing the number first that is 225 and I am splitting this number with the vertical bar as shown here. And I am splitting this number in such a way that the last two digits that is 25 should come in the first part and the remaining two should come in the second part. After splitting this number if you observe the first part here. In the square root the last digit is 5 therefore the last digit in our answer what we are going to get is also 5 so therefore the first part of the answer what we are going to get is 5 and now coming to the second part here if you observe the digit under the square root is 2 that is the second part here is 2 since this digit lies between 1 square and 2 square that is 1 and 4 so therefore we have to take the least square number that is 1 in our second part of the answer and therefore the second part of the answer what we are going to get is 1. After finding the first part of the answer and the second part of the answer by clubbing these two that is the second part with the first part we are going to get the required answer and therefore finally we can say that square root of 225 is 15. So friends, I hope that you have understood how to find the square root of perfect squares by using this shortcut method. And in the next session, we will see some more examples regarding how to find square roots of perfect squares by using this shortcut method. For watching this video, thank you, have a nice day.